What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness. Today's topic, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to actually work out the calories you need and the macronutrients as well because they're just as important, all right? So you can't just be going and eating your deficit of carbohydrates from Coca-Cola. Well, you can, but you may be in a bit of strife. So, you've got your calories and then you've got your macronutrients. Your macronutrients are your protein, carbs, and your fats. So first things first, you actually have to have a solid and sustainable diet where your macronutrients are all balanced to your own body. So your protein, carbs, fats, and depending on what you want to do, so either gain weight, lose weight. All right, so gaining weight means you need to be in a surplus of calories, so eating over what your body burns, and being in a deficit to lose weight, or I like to call lose fat, is to be in a deficit and actually eat underneath what your body burns in the day. Okay, so rule of thumb for protein because I get asked all the time how much protein should I have, how much carbs, how much fats, and I'm gonna explain that. So rule of thumb, 1.6 to two grams of protein per kilo of body weight. So for example, if you are 100 kilos, that could be 160 to 200 grams of protein. Now, a lot of people think that that could be too much, but that's where you really gotta crank in your fiber. You should be getting your fiber in anyway, so that could be from whole grains. If you're gluten-free, that's where veggies work a charm. Now, fats. Seen as it's a really calorie-dense food, it's actually double at nine calories per gram. Because of this reason, you need to taper that down, all right? So we're looking at around about one gram per kilo of body fat or less, all right? So for example, that 100 kilos, you could be looking at 100 grams. Now, this is the tricky part where you actually got to work out how much carbs you've got left for the day. So this is literally just the rule of thumb. This is not the be all end all. All right, so I've just given you a general base guideline. All right, so let's say we go with the two grams per kilo of body weight for the protein, which means, let's say for me at 100 kilos, I'll be eating 200 grams, which equals 800 calories. And let's say if we do one gram for the uh, body weight of fat, all right, so that's 900 calories, all right? So already we're sitting at 1700 calories. Now for me, that's an extreme deficit. So I've got some room left for my carbs and that's actually how I work it out. So if my calorie expenditure or what my body burns in the day is let's say 3000, then I could possibly go up to about 2,500 to maybe 3,200 calories, and I'm gonna divide that by four to get the amount of carbs that I can have. If I wanna bulk, I could go over that by about 500, and again, divide that by four, and that's the amount of carbs you have left. Now there you've got your complete macronutrient breakdown. So at 3,500 calories, 450 grams of carbs. That's a lot to play with. I think that's pretty comfortable. That's if you can eat 3,500 calories. Ta-da! So, you've got your macronutrients sorted out. Your protein, your carbs, your fats. You may need to write this down and it may be a pain in the ass to do it, but it's where it's at. Nothing is worse than second guessing where you think you are in terms of your diet. Okay, people come to me all the time, day in, day out. Week in, week out, after even a whole year. And they're like, Mike, I'm not getting anywhere. And I'm still like, yo, you're counting your calories. And they're like, no. Uh, please, if I could recommend one app to get, uh, it is literally just a lifesaver when it comes to convenience, to learning, just everything. Nutritionists pay thousands of dollars to find out where the macronutrients are, your micronutrients, and how to pretty much give advice this thing gives it all to you and you can get it free. All right, there's a premium service that you pay a little bit of money for. This isn't a sponsorship ad, so don't worry. You get My Fitness Pal for free and it is so convenient, it is not funny. You can literally scan almost any packaged food. If it's not packaged, good for you. You can manually add it in. And then here's the catch. Obviously, technology is getting updated all the time, so for your convenience, you can literally go to a frequently used section on it so you don't need to keep finding it and adding it. Go to the frequently added bit if you're having it every single day and it's literally a click of the button just to see where your macros are at. All right, so what this is going to do is it's gonna give you, let's say you've got spending money for the day. You're chucking all your digits of your gold body weight, your current weight, and where you wanna be, and your activity levels, etc. Then it punches out the digits that you need to hit. So your calories you need to hit and your macros. You put in your food, it tells you how much you've got left, 
and what else to aim for. This is gonna be the biggest key. You're literally getting told where you need to be going in terms of your macros, how much fat to eat, how much carbs to eat, how much protein to eat. People pay thousands of dollars to see trainers and to get diet plans written up and you've got it in the palm of your hand. It is a very tedious process to use, but if you get used to it, you will be saving yourself big time. So guys, figure out your macronutrients. I cannot urge this enough. And then jump onto MyFitnessPal, track it, and I promise you, gains galore. All right, I did make a video on some supplements, so check that one out as well. But please, diet is number one and always will be number one. 70% diet, I think, and 30% training. 100% mindset though, so don't forget that one. Supplements, well, you can chuck that in there for maybe a convenience factor and some, you know, something to blow your money on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Love you guys to bits. Please jump across to our Facebook page. Give that a like in our YouTube channel, which is getting updated every single week on more advice to help you guys on your weight loss journey. So, love you guys to bits. I'll see you guys in the next video.